begin in child's pose today. Beginning in child's pose, sit back on your heels at the back of your mat and slowly begin to walk your hands in front of you, lowering your chest onto your thighs. You can also widen your knees to the edges of the mat if you like to take the wide-legged version of child's pose. Lower the forehead to the mat and spend a few rounds of breath just allowing your body and your mind to arrive on your mat in your space. As you exhale, press out a little bit more air than the last round of breath. Let your inhales expand the back, filling the lungs completely, opening the back of the heart space. Feel all the way up on the in, and through the nostrils, breathe it all out. On your next inhale, slowly walk the hands back in towards your knees as you sit up, coming to tabletop. Take a few shoulder rolls here, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears and the body away from you as you draw the shoulders down. And just wiggle out the right leg, make some circles with the knee and the left leg. Wiggle it out, take some circles. And then we're gonna begin with some dynamic breathing in a modified lizard pose. So finding your left leg, bring that left foot between the front palms, however you need to get there, All right? And stabilize your stance. So pull the left hip back, the right knee forward, like you're suctioning the mat in towards you. Your knee should be directly over your ankle. And your hands can be on either side of your, actually we're gonna heel toe that left foot to the edge of the mat. So for lizard, our hands are on the inside of the knee, inside of the left foot, all right? You can prop up on your fingertips. If you have a block or a prop, you wanna be a little bit more lifted, you can start there as well. So on our, on our inhale, we're gonna lower that left knee and pull our heart through the shoulders, gazing up, this is your inhale, expanding. And then exhaling, curling the spine, shifting the weight back slightly, tucking the chin, pulling back just a bit. Inhale, lower the chest, pull the heart through, look up, lower the left knee a little if you need. Exhale, curl the spine, tucking in, squeeze all the air out. And just continue with this breath movement, this rhythm. Going at your own pace. We might take a few rounds of breath to find that pace. And throughout class, just work on extending those exhales and deepening the inhales. Roll the shoulders down the back when you're on your inhale. Press the core in on the exhale. Two more times, even and out. And then coming back to your neutral lizard again, scissoring the legs together, left leg is pulling back, right leg is pulling forward energetically. And then walk the hands over the right side of the mat, pivot onto your right knee. So your right foot is facing the left side of the mat. Your left foot is still facing forward. We left it just where it was in lizard pose. Inhale, lift up off the hands, bring your hands to your hips. And then extend your arms long. This is like a modified warrior two pose. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale back. Just teeter-totter back and forth a few rounds. And then when you're ready, we're going to flip our front palm, reverse your warrior foot forward. Reach up and back. Right hand comes down on your, left, on your right leg. Breathe here, expanding into that left side body. Inhale back to your modified warrior two. Cart with your hands to either side of the foot. Spin that back knee again, and we're gonna switch sides. Bring that left knee down. Shift back to child's pose for two breaths. Recenter your breath, recenter 
your focus. And when you lift back up, bring that right foot with you to the outside of your hands, right foot to the edge of the mat. Knee over your ankle. You can hop that left knee in a little bit if you need. Remember, pulling that right hip back and the left hip forward. Come up onto your finger pads if you need, or that block or prop. And when you're ready, we're going to begin that dynamic breath. So inhaling, lifting the heart, opening that right knee a little bit. Exhale, curling in, tucking the chin, pressing out all the air through the nostrils. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl in. Continue with your own rhythm. Waking up the spine. We'll be here for a few more rounds. Take one more on each side, each movement. And then come back to neutral. Walk the hands over the left side of the mat, pivoting that left foot towards the right side. All right, so your right foot is still facing the top of the mat. When you're ready, come on up. Hands to your hips. Spend a moment here. Find your balance. Zip up the front body core. Slightly tuck the tailbone. And then inhale, extend the arms for your modified warrior two. Reach the right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. And then inhale forward. Exhale back. Few rounds. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Shoulder blades squeezing together down the back. And then flip your warrior. Reach forward with the front palm. Inhale, reverse. Left hand comes down the left leg, reaching the right arm up overhead. Spend a moment, spend a breath here, breathing into that right side body. And then inhale back to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot, or you can bring both hands on the inside if you'd like. And then send that right knee back, child's pose, hips over heels, palms flat to the mat. Take a breath, take a rest. Spend as much time as you need in child's here or throughout class. You can always catch up. If you're ready to move on, inhale to cobra, lowering your body all the way to the mat, coming onto the belly. Tops of the feet press into the mat. Pull the fingertips in line with the heart, so in line with the chest. Squeeze the elbows together. Forehead is on the mat. One breath here. Stay for the exhale. And on an inhale, with no weight in the hands, no pressure into the hands on the mat, lift the chin. Maybe lift halfway off the chest. Roll the shoulders down. Gazing a few inches in front of your mat. Toes reaching back, pressing down. Breathe here. A little mini heart opener. If you find you have some low back pain here, squeeze the belly button in towards the spine activating the front body core. One more inhale. Exhale, lower. Forehead to the mat. Relax the hands to either side of you. Palms can face up or down. You can also rest one cheek on one side of the face on your cheek if you need, if the forehead isn't too comfortable for you. We'll be here for two more breaths before moving into a little bit higher baby cobra. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Bring your hands back next to your chest. Chin to the mat. Preparing for cobra. Inhale, lift the heart. Maybe lifting up a little bit higher this time. Toes still pressing down into the mat, reaching back. Shoulders relaxed. Slight tuck of the pelvis. Keeping that low back released. Four muscles engaged. One more inhale. Stay here for the exhale. And then slowly lower, lowering the opposite side of the face, relaxing the hands on the side of the mat again, next to your body. Two deep inhales, slow exhales. 
And then from here, we're going to move to full cobra. So draw the fingertips in line with the chest. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears and then down the back as you peel your heart up. This time, pressing into the hands to lift your torso off the mat. However far you feel appropriate for you. You can also widen your legs a little bit. Keep the belly engaged. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Look straight ahead. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then lift up to your tabletop. Take a few rounds of cat and cow. For the exhale, curling the spine, tucking the chin, finding that little angry cat pose. And then inhaling, dropping the belly, the lazy cow out in the field, just chomp them away. Lift your chin, relax the belly. This is your inhale. Exhale back to cat. Pressing the earth away. Inhaling, releasing down as you look up, drawing the tailbone towards the crown of the head. And here you can also add in any other organic movements I mean, anything that your body feels called to do this morning. I like a little side to side cat and cow. It doesn't have to look like anything official. Just kind of move with your body, learning to tune in. Take another few rounds of breath, warming up however you need. And then tuck the toes under, spread the fingertips wide. We're going to move into our first downward facing dog. So lift the knees, send the hips back, and slowly lengthen through the legs as you lift your tailbone. Feet should be about hips width distance or however far apart you need to feel stable and grounded. Working towards the heels, towards the earth, they don't have to touch, they might never touch. That's not the goal. Keep lifting through the tailbone, pressing your chest towards your thighs. And then walk your toes to the edge of the mat for a wide-legged downward dog, maybe even off the mat. How far you go is up to you. Keep pressing the fingers and the hands into the mat. Keep pressing your chest towards your thighs, lifting up through the sitting bones. Look back between your feet and walk the hands back until you find a wide-legged forward fold. Bring the left hand to the middle of the mat. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, release the right hand down. Plant in the middle, other hand. Left hand lifts, reaches up and open. Exhale, back down. Take those one more time. Left hand to the center. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Twisting open. Exhale, release the right hand to the mat. Lift the left arm to the sky. Twisting open towards the left. Exhale, lower that palm, and then walk the hands back, finding your downward dog, bring the feet back together about hips with distance. Big breath in, fill up as much as you can. Big inhale, exhale, lower the knees. Shift the hips to one side. Extend the legs out in front of you for a forward fold. Starting with our staff pose, toes pulling back. Sitting bones grounded, long through the legs, relax the shoulders. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Hinging at the hips, bring the belly over the thighs and then low over the hands, keeping the spine straight. Inhale, lift your heart. And then exhale, allow the upper body to slowly melt forward. Relaxing over the knees, let your head hang heavy. Two more breaths here. And then starting with the base of the spine, we're going to roll the spine up. So tuck the chin, tuck the belly, low back curls, slowly coming up the chin and the head of the last to make it draw the fingertips back a few inches behind your hips. Preparing for reverse plank. You can also take reverse tabletop by bringing your feet to the mat, knees bent, or you can stay here and just open the heart. So your choice. If you are taking reverse plank, point the toes. Inhale, engage the belly and lift through the belly button, lifting the hips off the mat. Slowly drop the head back. Firm in the hands, fingertips spread wide. Keep lifting through the belly button. If your knees are bent, imagine you've got a block between your legs, between your thighs. Energetically squeeze that block to help lift a little bit more. One more inhale, slow motion release down. Slow motion, so nice and slow and in control. 
Bring the knees to bend, feet in front of you, lower the knees to one side and the other for your windshield wipers. Couple rounds on each side. And we're going to walk your hands in. Sure, you're sitting up on your sitting bones here. You might need to move your padding out of the way. Draw the knees in close, shoulders relaxed down the back, moving to both clothes. You can take behind your knees and the space between your knees and your thighs and just kind of tilt back until your feet come up off the earth. Then you can begin to lengthen, straighten your knees, your shins. If you feel good here, if you can engage the belly to keep the low back straight, maybe release the arms, palms open. If you find yourself starting to curl your back like this, hold on to those knees, pull those knees in towards your chest, relax the shoulders, look straight ahead. Keep the belly engaged. We want to keep that low back straight. Feel everything hugging in, knitting the ribs together. Shoulders relax, stay focused. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your hands between the knees and legs, bend the knees. Slowly rock forward, lower the knees, open soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Take a few breaths to sit up straight, wiggle into your spot. Take a deep breath in, look up, open the heart. Exhale, finding that cat-like pose, squeeze the belly, tuck the chin, press the shoulders back, curling in. Inhaling up and open, pulling the heart through. Exhale, curling in, cat pose. One more round of each. And bring the knees back together, finding boat pose once again. So sit up onto your sitting bones, draw the knees in, tilt back, holding on to those, the back of the thighs if you need, opening the palms up. Once you're there, keep the back straight. And then inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, tick tock that right hand behind you, twisting towards the right, left hand forward over the knees, right arm back. Keep the back straight. Inhale, lift the left hand, right hand comes back behind you. Exhale, lower the feet, draw those knees in, curl it in, curl into a ball, tuck the chin, press out through the low spine, and then inhale back to center. We're gonna take that boat revolve twist one more time. So tilt back onto the sitting bones, lengthen through the low spine, tuck the belly in. Core is engaged, core is everything from your torso, your thighs, the back, Hug it in when you're there. Inhale, reach the arms up. Tick tock that left hand back behind you. Right arm reaches forward. Opening through the heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep the spine straight. And then inhale, reach the right arm up as the left hand reaches back. Exhale, drop the feet. Drop the right arm. Come back to center. Squeeze the knees in. Curl into a ball. Tuck the chin, forehead to the knees. Press out through the low spine. Bend a breath or two here as you need. Knees release, hold on to the knees and take a few rolls, maybe coming to the top of your mat, up and down the spine, left side, right side, rolling it out. Eventually rolling up to a sit. Malasana yogi squat at the top of the mat or just make your way there if you didn't quite roll up into it, no judgment. Feet are planted firmly on the mat, elbows into the knees. Slowly drop the hips, only go as far as you need. You wanna keep your feet on the mat or you can prop the back of the heels up with a blanket or the back of the mat. Sinking down, heels are over, or knees are over the heels. Lift the gaze, take a breath out. Plant the hands, roll the hips, or roll the spine to forward fold, lifting the hips. Heel toe, the feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, roll the shoulders down the back, halfway up, bringing our hands to your shins, creating that long straight spine. One more inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, bend the knees, roll the spine, bringing the arms up with you at the top. Exhale the mountain. Spend a breath here. 
tune in. Today we'll be focused on some revolving postures. Find your center here in the mountain. Relaxing the shoulders down the back, feeling the feet firm on the mat. Inhaling deep down into the earth through the feet. Exhaling, cycling that air back up and through. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Tuck the chin. Take a breath in. And then exhale, let it go. Release the hands. Coming to the top of the mat. If you're not already there, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, coming to that tabletop. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back to plank, or you can lower your knees if you need a little warm up more here. One more breath in plank. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest and the chin. Inhale, pull through to cobra. Exhale, shift up and back to downward facing dog. Look between your hands, tiptoe towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take your two peace fingers, the first two fingers, and wrap them around your toes. Heel toe the feet about hips width distance apart. And then bring your belly towards your thighs. So press the hips back, lower the chest, bringing the belly over the thighs, lower the head. So a forward fold, holding on to our big toe with our peace fingers. And then inhale, lift the hips a little bit more, broaden through the elbows, open the elbows, so you're increasing the forward fold. Maybe your knees are bent a lot here. That's just fine. You don't have to lengthen. You don't have to lift up through the hips too much to feel this back of the leg stretch. Keep your head lowered and relax. Flare the elbows on your inhale. Slowly working to lift through the hips. You might feel a little shaky in the back of the legs. Let it shake, stay with the sensation. One more big inhale. Exhale, throw the elbows a little bit more, and then release, heel toe the feet back together, and roll the spine up to stand, bringing the arms up overhead with you. Palms together at the top, exhale down to heart center. We're gonna take two more of those sun salutation A flows with a different pose at the top. So when you're ready, release the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, open the heart towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, walk the feet back or step back to plank, or you can lower your knees if you're taking a modified version. Two breaths here, press the earth away. Belly button in towards the low back. And then lower all the way to the mat. You can come through knees, chest, chin for either cobra or up dog, scooping the shoulders up and back, lifting the heart, tops of the feet, press into the mat. Two breaths here. Take your time. When you're ready, press it up and back to downward facing dog. I usually like to take a little child's pose, break in between there. You're always welcome for that. From your downward facing dog, look between your hands, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more inhale, halfway lift, creating that tabletop with the spine. Looking straight down, pressing the tailbone back, crown of the head reaching forward, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll to stand. Finding a mountain pose, preparing for tree. So shifting the weight to the left foot, draw that right foot up the left leg, however far you need to go. Palms can be facing out, together at Anjali Mudra, maybe on your hips, wherever works best for you. Ground down through that left leg, reaching up through the spine, relax the shoulders. Press the hips open. One more inhale. Stay for the exhale. Then draw that right knee to the center, lower the leg, shake it out if you need before we move to the other side. When you're ready, shift the weight to the right foot, 
Slowly kickstand that left foot, draw it up the side of the leg. Don't grab it and place it up. We can go a lot higher sometimes. We want to work on those muscles, work on the body's ability to move. So draw that left leg up as much as you need. Press the hips forward, open the hips forward, relax the shoulders, relax the face. Find your hand placement that works. Ground down through the right foot, lengthen through the spine. One more breath in here. And then tilt that left knee forward, lower the foot. Rinse it out. Sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half the lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back to plank. Two breaths here. Lift through the heels, press the earth away with the hands. If you're moving to cobra, lower the knees, chest, chin. If you want to try up dog, untuck those toes. Pull the heart forward as you lower the hips. Tops of the thighs don't touch the mat as you lift the chin, lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. We've got one more round of that. Hang out here. Downward facing dog. Mind your alignment. Can you lift your tailbone? Can you lower your heels? Can you relax your neck? One more breath. And look between the hands, tiptoe towards the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your left hand to your hip and take those right peace fingers, your first two fingers, and grab that right toe. Shift the weight to your left foot. And as you inhale, roll up, bring that right foot with you, hooking onto that toe, lifting the right knee and the right foot off the mat. If you can get into this pose a different way, go for it. Just be mindful, move with your breath. And if it starts to hurt or you can't breathe, that's a good cue to stop. So here we are balancing. Keep the knee lifted, but release the toe. Bring both hands to your hips. Give yourself a little balance if you fall out, no worries. And then take that left hand to the knee and pull the knee across, open that right arm. So we're twisting towards the right as we pull the left knee away and open the right shoulder. Gazing over the right. Squeak the belly in, slide, tuck of the tailbone. Keep grounding through that left foot. One more inhale. Exhale, bring that right hand back forward, holding onto the knee. Squeeze the knee and relax the shoulders. Lengthen through the spine, and then gently release. Close the eyes. <sighs> Exhale. Let the body relax from that. Notice any different sensations in the right side of the body than the left. And then when you're ready, blink open the eyes. Sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Shift the weight to the right foot and take your first two fingers, wrap them around that big left toe. And same thing, other side. Right hand to your waist. Bend into that left knee, slowly press into the right leg to stand up, bringing your left knee with you. Get onto those toes, lengthen through the spine. Find your stance, find your firm, stable ground. And when you're there, keep the knee lifted, release the toes. Left arm circles up and open and back. Take that right hand, grab that left knee. Pull the knee across your body. Extend the left arm back, opening the shoulder, twisting, revolving. Changing our perspective. Look over your back left shoulder as you can. Again, squeeze the belly in, tuck the tailbone, find length in the spine, relax the shoulder. And then draw that left hand back to the center, holding onto the knee. Squeeze the knee in, drop the shoulders, and slowly relax that leg to the earth. Close your eyes, palms facing forward. Taking that moment of reflection. Feel the lungs expand with your inhales, and empty on the exhales. This ability to check in and ground down and find our center, it's only the first step. If we want to evolve, if we want to change, if we want to make positive change, 
we sometimes have to change our perspective. We have to revolve our thoughts, our bodies, our patterns. So as we move through the rest of the flow today, take this opportunity for each revolve variation to really tune in, see if anything comes up from the inside. Maybe you're just here physically today. Allow yourself that space, really tune in. Don't just follow cues to follow the cues, really be present in the space and the shape. Link open the eyes. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Drop the hips. Knees over your ankles. Lifting the heart, lifting the arms with you. Slight tuck of the tailbone. Trust, chest pulls forward. One more inhale here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We'll take that chair again. Drop the hips. Heels down. Toes are wiggling. Shift the knees over the heels. And then bring your hands to prayer. We're going to take a prayer twist. So inhale, lift the left elbow. Cross it over you. And hook that left elbow over that right knee. Lengthen through the spine. Press the elbow into the knee to find some length in the spine. Keep your weight in both feet even if you can. One more breath in. Shift the weight to the right foot. Begin to lift that left foot and extend that left foot back, finding revolved lunge. Left heel is lifted. Back leg is straight. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist a little bit more, and then open the palms. Reaching the right arm up, left arm down. Ground down through the low body, and inhale, come up to that revolved twist. All the way back, left hand comes up. Exhale, cart with your hands to the inside of the foot. Heel toe that right foot to the edge of the mat. And step forward to Malasana, yogi squat. Heels down, elbows pressing into the knees. Lengthening through the spine, palms together. I like this. You can shift left and right. Ooh, if you're feeling it in your hips, just breathe through it. Stay with yourself. And come back to that quiet Malasana Yogi Squat Pose. Lower the hands. Lift the hips. Bring the toes in line with the heels nice and straight. We're going to take Ragdoll Pose here. So you can heel toe your feet together a little bit more if you feel more stable that way. Finding your stable stance. Take your hands to either elbow. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, melt over the legs. Exhale it out. Let the upper body hang heavy over the lower body. Again, you can sway left and right if you need. Be here for just a couple more breaths. Release the elbows, heel toe the feet together a little bit more. Inhale to chair, drop the hips, lift the gaze. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Inhale all the way up to back bend, lift the heart, press the hips forward. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, the mountain. Find a quiet space in your brain, deep breath in your lungs. Maybe closing the eyes. Catch your breath, catch your awareness. And as you're ready, we'll move to the other side. Coming to the top of the mat, if you're not already there, blink open the eyes. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair, drop the hips, lift the arms. Heart is open, tail is tucked. One more inhale here. Exhale, fold. <sighs> inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair again, drop the hips. Lift the arms, but keep the shoulders relaxed down the back. Maybe your arms are a little bit lower, that's okay. Bring the palms together, down through heart center, so fingertips are against your sternum. 
Inhale, reach that right elbow up and hook it around the left knee this time for a revolved twist. Keep the weight even in the heels, lengthen the spine, press that elbow into that knee. Use that leverage to assist in the twist, but not jank yourself into it. All right, so feet are firm, breath is steady, or trying to be. Shift the weight to the left foot, and then slowly send that right foot to the back of the mat, finding your revolved lunge. Right heel is lifted, right leg is long. Pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Breathe. Stay in your twist. Open it up, lower the right hand, lift the left. Opening through the heart. Exhale, ground down. Inhale, reaching up and back with that left hand. All the way, right hand comes up. Exhale, cartwheel our hands to the inside of the left foot. Heel toe that left foot to the edge, finding Malasana, yogi squat. Shift forward, step that right foot forward, finding your squat. Palms together. Settle in. Deep breathing. You can shift the weight back and forth. And plant your hands, lift the hips. Finding our ragdoll pose once again. Heel toeing your feet together, however close or far apart you need. Grab either elbow, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, to fold. Allow the head to become completely weightless. Feel free to play around with straightening the legs, bending the legs. Try to keep the low back straight. And then release the hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, heel toe the feet together. Roll the spine up to stand. Bring the arms up overhead. Exhale to chair, last one. Exhale it out. Open the heart, open the shoulders. Inhale to stand, back bend, heart up, hands back. Exhale, cactus your arms, elbows come down. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale to mountain, close the eyes. Breathe it out. Well, the heart rate to return to matching your breath. Notice any sensations, emotions, thoughts, without judgment. Just curiously watching them pass through the brain or the body, wherever you're sensing them. The process of revolving, evolving is not always gentle on the human spirit. But if you keep your awareness in the present, Focus your energy on intentionally harnessing that power of openness to change, openness to shifting perspectives. It makes it a little bit easier. Bring the palms together at heart center, coming to the top of the mat. Take a deep breath in, blink open the eyes, exhale through open mouth, release the hands. Shift the weight to the left foot. Stand here so you can see. We're going to take our right foot up. So come to the tippy toes, bending the right knee. Lift that right foot up. And then cross that right knee, that right ankle, over the left thigh. And you can help yourself out here. Lifting that heel. Try to get the heel as close as you can to the crease between your pelvis and your thigh right up in that little spot there. You can hold on to your foot with your left hand if you need. Figure four, tree. If you're there, keep pressing the foot into the thigh, keep pressing that left thigh forward. Maybe you can bring your hands to heart center. Wherever you're at, keep the back straight and the shoulders relaxed. Ground down through that left foot. Be here for a couple more breaths. 
We've got this. And then begin to shift the hips back, lowering the torso over that foot, coming into four, figure four. Maybe you can release your hands to the mat. Maybe you're right here. Maybe you stay in that standing posture. Wherever you are, press the hips back. Lengthen the spine. If you lower it, press into the left foot, come back up. Take your time. Balanced and strong, it's okay to shake. And then gently release that foot, shake it up. Preparing for the other side, nice and strong and stable. Shift the weight to the right foot. Come up to the tippy toes of the left, lifting that left knee. And see how high you can get that foot onto the thigh before you help yourself out. So grabbing that right foot, tucking it into that hip crease, holding on to the foot with the right hand if you need. Relax the shoulders down your back. Ground down through that right foot. Press that right foot into the left thigh. Left thigh into the right foot. If you've got to bring your hands to palms together at heart center. Find a spot to gaze at. Focus in on your breathing. And then shift the hips back. Slowly folding over that leg, maybe. Maybe you stop here. Be gentle with yourself. Don't judge one side if it feels like it's quote unquote better than the other. There's no such thing. It's just where you're at. How our body moves and functions is a product of many things. This asana practice can help heal and restore practicing the other limbs of yoga, the other parts of the ancient philosophy of it can help heal and restore the other parts of us that are also impacted by and impact the body, the physical body. You've made it all the way to fingers to the earth, bring the hands back to heart center, press into the right foot to stand up. Release the pose, shake it out. Ooh. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Let's take it to the floor. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Lower to the knees. Take a last cobra or up dog, lowering all the way to the belly. Shoulders roll down the back. Inhale, lift the heart. And then exhale, shift up and back to child's pose. Here we'll breathe for three or four rounds. Walk your fingertips over the left side of the mat for a side body stretch in child's. Expanding into the right lungs, the right side body. Walking the hands back to center. Spend a breath here. Before walking them over the right side, that opposite stretch. When you're ready, inhale the hands back to center. One more deep breath in, fill all the way up as much as you can. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale, roll the spine up to sit and shift the hips to the left side of the mat. Your right leg is gonna cross over the left, stacking the knees into cow face pose. If this is too much, you can take fire log. So these are your options, either fire log with your Heel stacked over each knee. You can put a little prop in between your knee and your foot if you need. So either fire log here or stacking your knees on top of each other for cow face pose. All right. So once you feel stable and grounded, both sitting bones on the mat, inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And then take that right arm underneath the left, finding eagle arms. So you can twist them around or just cross the elbows here, backs of the palms together whatever works for you. Lower the shoulders, pull the elbows away, and then inhale, lift the elbows up. Try to keep the low back straight as you lift the elbows. You'll feel that lengthening, that stretching in the back of the shoulder blades. 
And then exhale, fold over the legs, wherever you're at. Release the eagle arms when you get to the bottom. And take a few breaths here. Head hangs heavy. Breathing into that right hip. Relaxing your jaw. Cueing your body with your breath. We've got a deep, relaxed breath that lets the body know it can relax. When you're ready, slowly begin to sit up. And then take that right knee, uncross it, find deer pose. So the right leg is just going to be next to you. You can tuck that heel in. Left leg is going to be parallel to the top of the mat. So this is kind of like a modified pigeon pose. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over that front leg, fingertips to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you want to feel a little bit more in that left hip, walk the fingertips over the left side so your heart is centered over the knee. And then exhale, lower. Only go as far as you need to feel it deep in that left glute. Wiggle down, take your time, but find a spot where you can hold and be at peace for a moment or two. Relax the gaze, relax the face, lower the head. Two more rounds of unhurried breathing here. And press into the hands to lift the elbows and the forearms off the earth. Walk the hands back towards the knee. And the hands back beside you, bring both knees up and take a little windshield wiper left and right. And as you're doing that, end with twisting towards the other side. So now your left foot is down. Draw that left foot back behind you. We'll take deer pose on the other side. Right leg is parallel to the side of the mat. Left leg is bent at the knee and up beside you. Get stable. When you're there, inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Turn over that right knee and extend over as you lower the hands to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Maybe walk the hands a little bit further over that knee if you need that deep, deep glute stretch that you're looking for. And then inhale to lengthen, exhale slowly, slowly, lower, maybe, however far you need to go. Take your time, be gentle, and then find a spot of stillness and just stay. And drop the head and the neck and the chin. Focus the breath into wherever you're feeling this the most. I'll be here for just two or three more rounds of breath. When you're ready to come up, press the hands into the mat to lift the forearms. Walk the hands back towards the knee. And here we are ready for our cow face pose or fire log if that's what you're taking. So left leg is going to cross on top of the right, stacking heel over knee for fire log or walking it further until your knees are stacked for that cow face. Sitting bones need to be right on the earth, so adjust as you need. And then inhale, reach the arms up overhead. This time the left arm is going to cross under the right. Crossing at the elbows, maybe hooking the hands together or placing the backs of the palms, back of the hands together there for your eagle arms. Drop the shoulders, pull the elbows away from you. Tuck the belly in, tuck the chin. Lift through the elbows as you press into the back of the heart space, feeling the shoulder blades pulling apart, lengthening, strong in the core. Keep lifting through the elbows. And then exhale, hinge forward, forward fold over the legs. 
When you get to the bottom, release the arms, relax the shoulders, enjoy. Two or three more rounds of breath here. Stay present with your inhale. Follow the exhale out through the nose. And then inhale, roll the spine up to sit. Uncross that left leg. Bring both feet to the mat. Windshield wipers left and right. We're going to make our way to bridge pose. So walking a little bit towards the top of your mat so you can lower onto your back. Walk the heels in towards your hips. Bring the palms down next to you. Feet about hips with distance apart. Starting from the belly, engage that core. Tuck the belly button in, and then lift the hips up off the mat. Powerful thighs, forearms pressing into the mat. Relax the neck and the face can lift a little bit higher. Breathe here. Heel toe the feet in a little bit towards each other and then shift the weight to the left foot and extend the right leg up towards the sky or as far as you can go, if this works for you. You can also just stay in bridge pose here. Or maybe you want to challenge yourself to lift that right leg up. Point the toes, flex the foot, roll the ankle, keep the gaze straight up. And then lower that right foot down to the earth. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, lower the bridge. We'll rest here for just a moment for taking it to the other side. Readjust your feet if you need, walking the feet in. Engaging the core, engaging the thighs. Inhale from the belly, lift the thighs or lift the hips up. Press the feet into the mat, press the arms into the mat. Keep the neck relaxed. Shift the weight to the right foot, maybe heel toe it in a little bit for a little bit more center gravity. Press into the right foot, lift the left foot off the mat, lift the left leg. Point the toes towards the sky, flex, point, flex, maybe roll the ankle in one direction or the other. And then lower that left foot back down. Inhale, lift a little higher to the bridge. Exhale, lower. Bring the soles and the feet together. Allow the knees to open. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Rest here for a moment. And release the hands to the earth next to you. Close the knees together. Heel toe, walk the feet to the edges of the mat and allow the knees to lay in towards each other. You might feel a really nice opening in the tailbone, the low back. The further you walk your feet out, the deeper that opening. Well, just go as far as you need and be gentle. Open the palms towards the ceiling. Just wiggle the shoulder blades together. Relax the face and the head. Allow yourself to hang out here for a breath or two. Take a big breath in. Slow, long breath out as you lift the knees. Heel, toe, the feet together and extend the legs long on the mat. Gently transitioning to fish pose. So toes are gonna to point. You can also keep your feet on the mat bent at the knees here. So two options for fish here. If you're extending your legs, point the toes and lift the hips so your hands can come underneath your bum, palms facing down. Squeeze the elbows together. You'll notice your chest lifts a little bit and then press into the forearms to inhale, lift your chest so that the head can come to lift and just barely, barely touching down on the crown of the head. So most of the weight is in the forearms, the hips, toes pointing, or feet pressing into the mat. 
Be really light in your head here. Keep lifting through the heart, opening through the throat. Feel the belly expand, that different sensation. <sighs> Exhale it out. Inhale, it's a little bit higher, lengthen the neck to lower back down. Wiggle the arms underneath you. Widen your feet a little bit, palms facing up or down. Making your way to Shavasana, our final resting pose. Very important for not just the asana practice of yoga, but for anything in life, taking that time to stop, reflect, let everything that just happened soak in. It can look like celebrating accomplishments, reviewing failures for improvement next time, listening in, tuning out, and as I like to say, being a human being, not a human doing. Allow yourself that space right now. I'll let you know when it's time to come back. fingers and the toes, reawakening the body on the mat, awakening your awareness to your presence in this space. And as you're ready, gently curl in towards one side. Gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat at the top of the mat, keeping the eyes closed or softly gazing down in front of you. We'll end with a meditative quote from Maya Angelou. Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Take a breath in, bring the palms together at heart center. Exhale, blink open the eyes, release the hands. And continue your practice off the mat, learning and growing and being open to difficult sensations, shaky legs and shaky voices. When you know better, do better. Thank you for joining me. See you next time on the virtual map.